Blue stars are a type of star characterized by their blue-white color, which is a result of their high surface temperature. They are much hotter than yellow or red stars, with temperatures ranging from 10,000 to over 50,000 Kelvin. Blue stars are also much larger and more massive than other types of stars, and they emit much more energy, making them some of the brightest objects in the universe. Due to their high energy output, blue stars have a shorter lifespan than other types of stars and eventually end their lives in explosive supernova events. Blue stars play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies and in the study of the universe's early history. Blue stars are fascinating for several reasons. Firstly, they are among the most massive and luminous stars in the universe, which makes them visible from great distances. Their brightness and high energy output make them ideal for studying the early history of the universe and the formation of galaxies. Blue stars are also fascinating because of their unique characteristics, such as their high surface temperatures and their distinct blue-white color. The temperature and color of a star are directly related to its size and mass, so studying blue stars can provide valuable insights into the processes of stellar formation and evolution. Furthermore, blue stars have a relatively short lifespan compared to other types of stars, which makes them rare and exotic objects in the universe. Their intense energy output causes them to burn through their fuel quickly, leading to explosive supernova events that can be visible from Earth. The temperature of blue stars is one of their defining characteristics. Blue stars have surface temperatures that range from 10,000 to over 50,000 Kelvin, which is much higher than other types of stars. This high temperature is what gives blue stars their distinctive blue-white color. The temperature of a star is related to its size and mass. Blue stars are generally much larger and more massive than other types of stars, which means they have a higher surface temperature. The temperature of a star's surface is also affected by the nuclear fusion reactions that occur in its core, which generate enormous amounts of heat and energy. The high temperature of blue stars makes them some of the most luminous and energetic objects in the universe. This high energy output can also lead to the early demise of blue stars, as they burn through their fuel quickly and end their lives in explosive supernova events. The study of blue stars and their temperature is important for understanding the processes of stellar formation and evolution, and for gaining insights into the early history of the universe. There are several types of blue stars, each with its own unique characteristics. Here are some of the most common types of blue stars, main sequence blue stars, these are the most common type of blue stars and are found on the main sequence of the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. They are hot, massive stars that burn through their fuel quickly and have a relatively short lifespan. Supergiant blue stars. These are some of the largest and most massive stars in the universe. They are much larger and more luminous than main sequence blue stars and have a relatively short lifespan. Blue dwarf stars. These are relatively small blue stars that are cooler and less massive than other types of blue stars. They have a longer lifespan than main sequence blue stars and are thought to be the most common type of blue star in the universe. Wolf ray stars. These are highly luminous and massive blue stars that have lost much of their outer layers due to intense stellar winds. They are named after the astronomers who first studied them, and are often found in binary systems with other massive stars. Blue stragglers. These are blue stars that are found in globular clusters, and which appear to be younger and more massive than other stars in the cluster. The exact origins of blue stragglers are still not well understood, but they are thought to be the result of stellar collisions or other interactions within the cluster. Blue stars are formed through a process called stellar formation, which begins with a cloud of gas and dust known as a nebula. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of how blue stars are formed. A nebula is formed. A nebula is a cloud of gas and dust that is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. These clouds can be very large, spanning hundreds of light years in diameter. Gravitational collapse. As the cloud of gas and dust begins to collapse under its own gravity, it becomes denser and hotter. This process can be triggered by a nearby supernova explosion or other external factors. Protostar formation. As the cloud continues to collapse, it begins to form a protostar at its center. The protostar is a hot and dense region of gas that will eventually become a star. Nuclear fusion. Once the protostar reaches a certain temperature and density, nuclear fusion reactions begin to occur in its core. These reactions convert hydrogen into helium and release enormous amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. Main sequence. As the protostar continues to generate energy through nuclear fusion, it enters the main sequence phase of its life. This is the phase where the star will spend most of its lifetime, burning hydrogen into helium and radiating energy into space. Blue star formation. Some stars, particularly those that are more massive than the sun, will evolve into blue stars as they progress through their life cycle. This is because the high temperature and pressure in their core allows them to fuse heavier elements, which produces more energy and heat. As a result, the star's surface temperature increases, giving it a distinct blue-white color. Overall, the formation of blue stars is a complex process that requires the right conditions and a certain amount of luck. However, studying these stars can provide valuable insights into the processes of stellar formation and evolution, and help us better understand the history of the universe. Blue stars are significant in astronomy for several reasons. Here are a few. Indicators of stellar evolution. Blue stars are some of the most massive and luminous stars in the universe, and they can provide important clues about the processes of stellar evolution. By studying blue stars at different stages of their life cycle, astronomers can better understand how stars form, 
how they evolve, and how they eventually die. Tracers of Star Formation Blue stars are often found in regions of the galaxy where new stars are being formed. This makes them useful tracers of star formation, and studying their properties can help astronomers better understand the conditions that are necessary for star formation to occur. Signatures of Metallicity The temperature and color of a star are related to its metallicity, or the abundance of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium in its atmosphere. Blue stars have relatively low metallicity, which means that they are good indicators of the metallicity of the galaxy or star cluster where they are found. Astrophysical Laboratories Blue stars are incredibly hot and energetic, and they can produce a wide range of electromagnetic radiation, from X-rays to gamma rays. This makes them useful astrophysical laboratories for studying a wide range of phenomena, from the behavior of magnetic fields to the production of heavy elements in supernova explosions. Overall, blue stars are important objects of study in astronomy, and they have played a crucial role in our understanding of the universe. By continuing to study these fascinating objects, astronomers hope to unlock even more secrets about the nature and history of the cosmos. In conclusion, blue stars are some of the most fascinating objects in the universe. Their extreme temperatures, luminosity, and short lifetimes make them both rare and valuable for astronomers studying the evolution of stars and galaxies. Blue stars play a significant role in our understanding of the universe, from providing insights into the earliest stages of star formation to revealing the complex processes that govern the evolution of massive stars. By continuing to study these remarkable objects, astronomers will be able to shed even more light on the mysteries of the cosmos and expand our knowledge of the universe we live in.